Mihoyo just revealed more info about Sumeru and several upcoming characters from the region in the third preview video. Here are some questions and additional context to the info we just received. If Sumeru treats knowledge as a form resource, will there be a kind of market system dedicated to knowledge in Sumeru where we can trade information we gather during our travels? There is a possibility that a new market for knowledge could be introduced soon once we go deeper into the academia. There had been hints previously that a new wishing system may be introduced and this will not use fates. It is also possible that we get incentives for gaining more knowledge by reading certain books or completing quests that could be converted into in-game items. The former Archon, Greater Lord Rukadavada, has real-world significance. In South Asian cultures, Rukadavada refers to a tree goddess or a tree spirit. Rukka being tree and Devada or Deva referring to a goddess or a master of high level. Akasha also has philosophical relevance where it is an energy that maintains the balance between the elements and is a cognizant metaphysical entity. The people of Sumeru don't experience dreams as a result of their rationality and wisdom. Does this mean that the people are hardcore knowledge nerds that will engage us to deep and sometimes irrational conversations? If you think that cutscene dialogues are difficult to sit through then imagine having to deal with deep philosophical knowledge on every turn. Tigers, yummy? Are we going to hunt these beasts for me? SPCA may not like that. Who are the Eremites? Are they merely just mercenaries or is there a deeper reason for their existence? It appears that from previously dialogues in the game that they are religious recluses who prefer to exist as an independent faction in Tevak free from the binds of Archon worship and only act as mercenaries to survive. The name itself is a variation of the word hermit, which means a recluse from society. It comes from an ancient Greek word for desert dwellers, Eremos. Finally, six characters were featured. Tinery, as we by now know, is going to be the first five star from Sumeru. As for the five other characters, there have been leaks about Al Haytham, Sino, Nilo, and Nahida or Kusanali being five stars. However, Dihaya was the only character featured here that as far as we know is going to be a four star. Would it be possible that Dihaya is a five star pyro claymore given the screen time she got? For now, we can only get excited and hyped with the new drop. Soon enough, more information will be revealed. Thanks for watching. Thank you.